Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to actually upload this video. I have been filming it for a couple of weeks now if you really add up all of the footage and it has just been crazy. I do not know if it's been the same for you guys but it has definitely been a very fast paced month. I know that Christmas is over already but this is a very motivating video and I wanted to make sure I uploaded it and I showed you guys all the prep work that we did and all the things that we did as well. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, do so now because I definitely share more on a day-to-day -day basis there. And also remember to subscribe and like this video. Here you see me wrapping all of the gifts. I am also wrapping all of the Hanukkah gifts because we do celebrate Hanukkah. So as I said, it has been a crazy month. We had Thanksgiving, then we had Hanukkah, and then we had David's birthday, and then we had Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and right on Christmas Day was David's actual celebration since we did go away for a couple of days for his birthday. That was the only day that we were able to celebrate. So we've definitely been on a crazy, crazy last couple of weeks. I am so looking forward to the next year. And I'm so looking forward to upload more motivational videos for you guys. I have a lot of projects coming that I think you guys would love. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon Saxophone, we'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put 
Put your favorite music on all the way baritone My goal for next year is to make sure I have the same wrapping paper for all of my gifts just to make it look a little more like aesthetically pleasing but honestly I don't know I love that every gift um, has his own personality so some of them have bows some of them have a ribbon and they're all <laughs> different wrapping papers as well and the reason is because I had all this wrapping paper left over and I saw some at the store and I just bought them I didn't care and I don't know I'm really debating so let me know in the comments do you guys usually use the same exact wrapping paper for every single gift or do you do different ones your favorite music on all the way baritone shut the lights go in front And here are all of our gifts. I put them under the mantle because like I said, we do not have a Christmas tree this year. Um, we are doing a lot of renovations in our house, so it's a little hectic. And I actually had to move all of these gifts 
to the other family room because I couldn't have them there anymore and now I'm gonna go over and decorate just a few areas in the house you'll see both mantles as well I love doing these little wreaths on the chairs but I will say these were a little bit more challenging I honestly did not think it was gonna be so hard to hang them on the chairs because of the shape of them or something they just did not look right and I've used a lot of different wreaths on these chairs so I don't know but these ones were just too thick on the back and they kept falling and it honestly took me like 30 minutes to figure it out and changing all of the command strips on the chairs it was definitely a hassle and I just want to say they did look beautiful at the end but it was not easy we won't be scared you will see me flying high I'm staring into your blue eyes we don't need nobody else I got you and you got me too So for the decoration of this mantle in our living room, we're renovating this room but in the meantime I did want to decorate it because we were going to celebrate Hanukkah in this room. So I used real actual um, like uh, greenery. So I found it at Trader Joe's. I really liked how it looked. I was trying to find a natural looking wreath online and they were just so expensive. So. I was walking through Trader Joe's one day and I saw them and I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. They were only like five bucks. They are still alive. They lasted the entire month and they look beautiful and they also smell really good. I did not have to leave them in water. They've been just sitting there for the longest time and they're still looking pretty good. Keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you i don't need any presents as long as i spend this day with you mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh. i'm making plans for what we're gonna do i feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Let's till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you 
So this is the second mantle. This one is in our family room right around the area of the kitchen. So because we did some work in this room first, it was finished first. So we actually ended up doing all of our gifts exchanges on Christmas day on this room and we also ended up using this room a lot more um, so I'm glad I did decorate it I was debating whether I should put anything here or not but I'm glad I did because it worked out pretty well um, all of these decorations that I'm putting up are just a collection of previous years and also things that I bought this year um, I didn't buy much because I knew that we were not going to be able to really like decorate the house or anything and everything was in disarray in the house so I just did it just to be a little festive but next year I'm actually wanting to plan like what I'm gonna put in each area I am moving towards the like minimalist side so I don't think I'm gonna do a lot but it will definitely look more cohesive and will make a lot more sense. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told you soon enough. Everything started to change. Cause there's no going back. No going back, there's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life and now moving on to Christmas Eve, I am making a little basket for Adam on behalf of his elf on the shelf. This was the first year we did the elf and my friend gave me a great idea to give him a bag of like cookies to bake for Santa for the next day and a pair of pajamas that he can wear. Um, and I also found this letter online totally free I just typed it in online like free elf on the shelf goodbye letter and printed it on my printer and it was good to go I loved it he kind of got the idea not a hundred percent but he did understand what was going on and he loved wearing his pajamas he knew it was Buster's gift and he also read the book that night before bed Back. No going back, there's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high And now I'm making some flower arrangements for David's birthday on Christmas Day. So, like I said, it's been definitely crazy around here. And Christmas Eve, I had to make sure I prepared and planned everything for the next day so I wouldn't get overwhelmed on the Christmas Day because I knew we were going to be opening gifts and doing the whole Santa thing with Adam and I wanted to make sure I didn't fall behind on the actual party planning part of it so I'm making these arrangements I got these flowers from Trader Joe's I always go there for all of my florals they just always have the nicest things at the best price so if you guys are looking for florals even for an event I would definitely recommend to go to your nearest Trader Joe's. Um, they always have beautiful stuff. And the night is cold. Everyone's 
lighting candles in their homes. Yes, it's Christmas. It's a magic time. You can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy. Yes, it's Christmas. Snow is falling down. All the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, "Merry Christmas to you." This time of year is a time to cheer. Let our loved ones, our family and friends. And right now, I'm preparing our Christmas Eve dinner. So, in Dominican Republic, we always do a Christmas Eve party that we usually celebrate it on that day. And we always have pork. We have a potato Russian salad, and we also make uh, colorful rice. Um, I made my colorful rice with just color peppers i had red peppers yellow and green and for the pork loin recipe i am using olive oil salt garlic oregano and i did use some sage and then i made a little mix of mustard and honey with ginger and i put it on top of the pork loin and let me tell you it was delicious oh and i also added soy sauce so I always use liquid aminos instead of soy sauce and it was absolutely perfect. I baked it for about 22 minutes or 25 minutes, I can't remember, and put it in the mini oven and it was ready. Super juicy, tender, and very flavorful. Snow is falling down All the colored lights Lighting up this town And as I walk outside The Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you So this right now is for the potato Russian salad. I don't know what makes it a Russian salad to be honest, but that's what it's called. And you basically put in diced potatoes and carrots and you boil them until they're kind of soft, um, not too soft. And you go ahead and mix it with sweet peas, mayonnaise, and also beets. The beets, you also want to cut them in tiny little squares and mix them up. I did add some mustard to it and some salt and pepper and it's good to go. It's so good and it's definitely a crowd pleaser. We always have it in every single holiday meal. I 
right now I'm just putting some brioche I hope that's how you pronounce it um, these little breads that I found at Whole Foods they looked very good and soft so I'm just adding some bread rolls to the dinner table just so we can have some bread at the table um, just to make it a little bit more fancy but I'm gonna tell you right now if you go to Trader Joe's get these rolls they're so good they come individually packaged so they're always fresh Those were all of the ingredients that I used for the potato salad and for the rice I only used colorful um, peppers, bell peppers and mixed it up with my rice a little bit so they can steam together and salt and pepper and they were absolutely delicious. You will not regret making that rice. You can also add a little bit of seasoning like a little bit of garlic and a little bit of um, chicken bouillon if you have any um, and that's it. It's a super simple recipe but it just makes the rice look a little bit more festive. And here is our dinner table for Christmas Eve. It's only me, David, and Adam, and then his kids joined us too. Those little brown things that you see there, they're just like a little appetizer. They're called kibes, and you can find them at Trader Joe's in the freezer aisle. We always have them in Dominican Republic too, and they're so yummy. They're like the perfect appetizer for any dinner. Here's the potato salad. Everything looked so good and I actually am now making the cookies for Santa. So right after we had dinner, I started making the cookies from the gift that the elf left for Adam and I'm baking them right now, just adding some colorful M&Ms and make sure that they're ready before he goes to bed so I can put him on the dish for Santa and Santa's reindeers. Here is Adam and David reading the elf book before bed. 
to wait for Santa for the next day. He was so excited to read his book that Elf left him and it was just so sweet. It was the sweetest moment ever and I just love that David always reads him a book before bed. It's just a habit now and he absolutely loves it. just wrapping the final gifts that Adam got so because my family lives in New York they sent him gifts through the mail so some of these arrived today on Christmas Eve so I wanted to make sure they were wrapped for the next day so I can add them to the other presents on the mantle on the fireplace and i'm gonna show you guys but this wrapping paper is so cute i will link it below you can print it out with anyone's face on it and it could be for birthdays or for christmas they have different designs but everyone loved it and i thought it was the cutest little thing ever the gifts under this mantle in this room i hope you guys had an amazing christmas eve christmas day and an amazing holiday season wishing you guys lots of health and happiness and love mm -hmm.